Um, so, um, does the partner responsible for fair data management within uh, 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 Ariadne Plus? So, you can see why it's a really strong pedigree and, and credentials in that area. So, so Advance is the person to talk about fair data, I think. But we will move on now to our uh, next presentation from another Ariadne, now Ariadne Plus partner from uh, INRAP in France, and Kai of the co authors, Kai. Uh, Sars Rosenbach and Marla Marx is coming forward to uh, tell you about Ariadne at Inra. Yeah. Yes, the mic. Yeah, the mic. Yes. Uh, just, um, okay, presentation made by two, two colleagues uh, at Inra in, in France. A few words on our institution. So, it's in, in English, it's the French National Institute for Preventive Archaeological Research, Development Plate uh, Archaeology in other uh, terms. It's a public institution established in, in, in 2002. A uh, long history, of course, before and hopefully uh, after all this. Under the Malta Convention ID, a transla translation of the Malta <coughs> principles into French law, um, the missions um, that covers all the national territory, meaning overseas and, and France um, territories, is uh, doing preventive archaeological cooperation, of course. Yes. Intervening in the field, clearly, before or prior to the construction works. Second, the exploitation of scientific data, which is, uh, we will see, of course, a central topic, meaning uh, doing uh, a real archaeological investigation also in the lab and publishing it. And then you have education, cultural um, dissemination, and, and also other things we do also in our own uh, uh, missions that we have to provide the knowledge we create to uh, specialize the larger public. There is headquarters uh, in Paris, of course, as you know, for a centralized country, this is very important. And then you have 50 archaeological centers, which is a, a fantastic network of, um, of people and places all around the territory and overseas, of course. So this is just um, the view of what has been done already since 2002, or later, this is a state in 2016. So it's a massive amount of things. It's, it's something like 2,000 uh, evaluations, uh, systematically done with trial tranches in the French context. Something like um, um, each year, um, something like 200, a little bit more excavation, extensive excavations. Um, reporting, it's something around uh, each year 2,000 reports. And research project, what we call research project, in internal um, call for proposals for for having a more uh, thematic or national or transversal uh, project, which is as you see massive. But uh, we want to have this presentation and all our attitude towards all this honest also, meaning that all is not in the same states of the art, all is not in the same, um, and all is not harmonized, of course, but still a lot of it. So what we did, um, what we are doing at Inrap in terms of digital data, data and digital data, in a sense, uh, for each archaeological operation, as you have seen, many, it's uh, administrative documentation, of course, material object documentation, raw field data, data recording, pictures, field minutes, of course, special data also, um, field databases created by uh, own, uh, by some uh, researchers, but also nationals one. Um, reports, as you have seen, as an administrative uh, compliance process, but also as a research document. And more and more often, of course, uh, many very uh, tricky things as 3D models, photogrammetry, drone images, and a lot of things, as you all uh, know. But it's also dissemination documentation for specific on other uh, publics, uh, and databases from these research projects and other digital documentation, meaning a, a huge mess of things uh, in, in a very huge territory and, and with many appendages, something like uh, 1,500, something like that. So it's, it's very big. So in that before, uh, Ariadne was many things done with dig digital documentation. Uh, some examples, um, uh, Dolia, which is an um, a, a information system for the reports, um, with many reports in it, something like um, uh, 30,000 uh, excavation reports and notices and, and, and full text reports, as you can see. Um, 
already at the moment, before I had any with links with the main thesaurus, which is the Pactos, which is the main, at least French uh, at this time, and for as French thesaurus for archaeology, there was also a system built up in, 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 in Fortune, which is the EDAC uh, system, free recording system. So what, what, what is a free recording system into a database and, and a national system? And also a, a geographic system, um, uh, GIS uh, trying to be a national platform for, for all our GIS uh, data. So for each archaeological center, as you have seen, the, the, the 50, um, it, it's managing its own digital data, natively and for, for a long term period. And then uh, the only mandatory, this is very important for us, mandatory digital document we have to produce centrally and, and, and give access to it. Uh, for for the states is the excavation report. So in our in our one, so, so this was very important for us, very important uh, moment in our institution, and honestly a very huge step forward in terms of uh, future uh, of, of uh, sharing data. First of all, was uh, trying to 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 set up the use indeed survey in French community, which is uh, of course a big community, something like. Um, uh, 5,000 uh, archaeologists and trying to see what are the needs, the real needs of this college in terms of digital data management. Uh, management. Um, links between this question of the Tedoris and, and Ariadne, the French Tedoris and Ariadne, this was very important and as, as you will see a little bit uh, uh, below, there, is also, there was also a very manual thing but the, the mapping of this impact of this French uh, Tedoris with the AAT uh, uh, getting as always in in, in, in area one. Um, opening a little bit our excavation reports into the platform. This was very important also for the first project. Disseminating these principles into our community, of course. And um, something specifically done on the side of uh, CRM by some colleagues also in, with the field recording system. And testing, which was our main task in the first project, testing the services and the infrastructure for as a as a geologist. So, yes. Ariadne um, Atinua, what what will benefit from the project? This is very important for us because this has nothing to do with technology. Honestly. What we uh, mainly gain from this project is trying to change the culture of our own institution and the processes. It's a very human change, and of course the most difficult one. And this was, uh, and I think this is the very first step that we all have to, to develop. So this was uh, stimulating the development of a real reflection uh, um, inside our institution on data management and third principles. What we can, what we have to share, why, uh, uh, with whom, and, and how. Uh, this was the real question we put on the table. And honestly, when we began this project in 13, yes, um, it was quite a uh, uh, very difficult discussion. That you know, because of course you have a very uh, clear process in terms of administration of the data with the state, with the, our own institution. It's very big. It's very diverse. So this was the main discussion, and it's still the main discussion, how we change our culture of uh, managing and sharing that. So we participated in several national research groups for that, and, 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 and this is very important. It means that there is an ecosystem, there is a community of, of people inside, uh, in France, in the territory, as Okan, as uh, Mazar also, very specifically uh, focused on this digital data management in the archaeological context, and this is very important. It, it's not only a change in the culture of our own institution, but also this is meaning that we have to connect with the people that are in the state of the art, uh, also but that we have to have a massive and global discussion on it. So we set up a conference on this question of open access, uh, uh, mostly focused on, if I well remember, on publications, because it's also a massive thing for us. And then um, we implemented some clear things that was in, in due in, in sense also to Ariadne. It's a long-term preservation archiving of, of our data with the CNES, which is a public institution, which is uh, its role is to, to provide with the long-term preservation. And this was done, and this is clearly now done for all our reports. 
Um, the question of our data storage infrastructure and our NAS restoration, which is something very important because each center is putting a lot, a lot of data into this uh, architecture of, of uh, data storage and we have to harmonize, try to connect, reconnect, put that in the state of the art. And this is a massive, as you can imagine, a massive amount of work. And then uh, entering this uh, very key notion for us, because it, it's, it's the link between this culture and, and this, the technologies, is the, the question of the data management plans, which allow the people to express and construct themselves um, into the project, um, and this done uh, into Maza and Consortium also. Yes? Okay, so this is, yeah. All the schemes, uh, you all need schemes. So this is kind of our, our, our scheme at, at, the, at the moment. So you have this uh, art disk things that all researchers have and at the local level. You have this NAS, which are a bit more structured and institutional. You have the national uh, server. Um, and then you have this long-term preservation. So we can do many schemes like that. But mostly the main question is how the process is managed. And this is, uh, from our point of view, the key, the, the key structure is the, this uh, data management that we are now uh, trying to provide for, for all our people. Again, a very nice scheme, um, um, which is uh, representing uh, the systems we are now managing. We have new ones. This uh, Komodo is, is linked with the, the, the artifacts. So how an artifact is circulating in, in our institution and then to the state services and then to museums. The system is dealing with that. And you have all GIS, of course, Caviar, the national uh, system, and then you have the connection with the, with the colleagues and the people. And this is also circular, as, as, as usual, because all this is uh, intertwined. Yes? <coughs> Where is the source? Ah, yes. Um, so, Adelme Plus Satin Art now is um, um, reference, of course, more data sets into Adelme to try to foster this. Uh, these fair principles uh, into real things. So we want to, to go for, of course, excavation reports, again, to put that in, into Ariadne and, and some research databases that are something else. But we also want to do something is try to have this absolute dating database we don't have at the moment. That you have. And we estimate that the volume of things is around uh, maybe 20,000 absolute dates in, in, in our own uh, uh, service and, and so we want to gather all this information because this is something very, I uh, think it's a very nice corpus. So we will see what we can do that and, and try to put that in a fair, in a fair way into uh, Ariadne. Uh, develop the French user community, reinforce our own ecosystem and community of users, and 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 there we connect with the colleagues from the centers, with the colleagues from other, try to do that all together at least for some things. Promote the fair principles at the national level because this is in our role, we think, also. And then, in, specifically in the project, we are VP leader on, on something that are uh, uh, coordinating pilots. So some archaeological institution, we try to uh, see how Ariane is benefiting their own research context. So this will be done in a specific VP we are managing. And inside that, we have something uh, following up and, and design a bit where we, are, we will see how the services of the, of the project uh, will be useful for specifically for the excavation report analysis. So we are trying to see if there is something to, to play with the, the natural language processing, which is something that we, we think would be very useful with the corpus of text that we have, which is massive. Um, next. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much.